Flight Dynamics uh, team is one of the first operational team which really go on console on preparing operational products. Uh, um, they are tied to um, the preparation of reservation of comps. Uh, comps that goes uh, via TDRS or via Artemis. So as changes are required about four weeks, uh, starting four weeks prior to the actual use of the comps. So the, there is a lot of uh, traffic of information, uh, computation, uh, which is tied to the different groups. Uh. Mm -hmm. So input from one group uh, are used by the other group to compute other input which are fed on other groups. And this is uh, all over across uh, um, the world. Yeah. Uh, and they are also linked to preparation or some uh, um, configuration of the onboard software for the actual launch. Um, and this product has to be carefully uh, prepared, verified, cross-checked. And that's why the Flight Dynamics team uh, starts early in advance uh, with a very tight schedule, uh, which has no, uh, no right to be stopped because uh, it's, uh, it's going to endanger the launch itself. So it's critical and and any uh, deviation from the nominal is even requiring an operational uh, uh, forum for decision. So they are really in operation, like uh, if, the fly, uh, if the flight is going and the spacecraft is on, on, on the space. The LEO phase is uh, uh, the first critical phase. Uh, um, the kind of launch uh, we have on the LEOP uh, is very specific. Uh, uh, first of all, we have uh, a second uh, um, ignition of the launcher, uh, which always uh, keeps us nervous for uh, quite a long time uh, to make sure uh, that uh, the spacecraft injected uh, on the proper orbit. If this uh, second ignition is failed, uh, we are injecting on an orbit uh, which uh, is not very stable, it would uh, uh, put the spacecraft uh, uh, quite quick uh, on a dangerous uh, position, basically hitting the atmosphere. And the flight dynamics is uh, prepared to deal uh, with this kind of scenario. Um, otherwise, uh, there are critical operations uh, which are classic of any LEOP, like deployment uh, uh, of the solar array, the right pointing, priming of the propulsion which normally are pre-prepared, as Ellen explained, uh, uh, before the launch, and the key parameters are loaded uh, on board the software. And then here there is a monitoring of uh, the sequence uh, with a specific activity which uh, really uh, involve uh, uh, native flight dynamics uh, um, uh, operation, uh, which is the preparing of the warm start of the GPS. Uh. GPS is a key navigation uh, uh, system uh, in the ATV uh, to provide uh, uh, the ground uh, with the enough accurate orbit determination. So knowing the orbit uh, good uh, allows the flight dynamics to have a good computation of the maneuver and to arrive uh, uh, close to the station uh, uh, safe and uh, enough uh, accurate to let the onboard software uh, uh, take the lead and autonomous guidance. If this is not achieved, the onboard software may fail uh, to initiate the onboard guidance. The station is uh, alive, mm -hmm. big, big spacecraft, uh, and it's impossible to foreseen and to predict everything in advance. So flight dynamics, of course, is following procedures uh, and uh, uh, predefined as changes uh, with partners. Uh, and, and they are starting a few weeks in advance prior to the launch. Uh, but uh, you cannot avoid that, for instance, the station required to have a boost uh, to change the trajectory. There is a flying vehicle is arriving and maybe is delayed uh, as changing the traffic. So flight dynamics, on top of providing all the classical flight dynamics support uh, to 
a spacecraft like another, they have to adapt their product, their activities uh, to, to this flexibility, which is required from an alive uh, big spacecraft on, on the space. We are very focused on the preparation of the flight. Now we are uh, uh, just uh, repeating what we have trained uh, for more than one year for this mission. And uh, we're just uh, uh, keeping the schedule uh, to uh, arrive uh, to the mission successfully.